It's from Game of Thrones. What do you think? I don't know. If we're going to start a fantasy sword collection, and I've long thought we should, <laughs> is this really the sword to start with? What did you have in mind? Well, off the top of my head, I'd have to go with Excalibur. <laughs> it gives you the right to rule England. It would be a replica of a movie prop. Fair enough. It would give you the right to rule a replica of England. <laughs> They don't have an Excalibur here, so what do you want to do? Mm, tough decision. There's no weaponry from Lord of the Rings forged in a Chinese sweatshop. <laughs> mm, just Bilbo bag and sword over there. Two grown men with a hobbit's dagger. Wouldn't we look silly? <laughs> it's not what it looks like. <laughs> It's not what it looks like. <laughs> what are you grinding about? Penny's brain teaser this morning. <laughs> she and Kuthra Polly emerge from your bedroom. She is disheveled, and Raj is dressed only in a sheet. The sole clue, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> Just let it go, Sheldon. If I could, I would, but I can't, so I shan't. <laughs> no. Knowing Penny, the obvious answer is they engaged in coitus. But since that's what it looked like, we can rule that out. <laughs> Let's put on our thinking cap, shall we? <laughs> Raj is from India, a tropical country, third world hygiene. Parasitic infections are common, such as pinworms. Mm -hmm. The procedure for diagnosing pinworms is to wait until the subject is asleep and the worms crawl out of the rectum for air. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just like that. <laughs> Penny could have been inspecting Raj's anal region for parasites. Yeah, oh boy, that's a true blue friend. They slept together, Sherlock. <laughs> No, you weren't listening. She said, it's not what it looks like. She lied. <laughs> oh. oh. Don't I look silly sitting here wearing this? <laughs> now, give me a number. Five. Uh-huh. And an irrational constant. E. And a funny Greek letter. Gamma. Yeah. I said funny. <laughs> Upsilon? Good one. <laughs> and an electrical charge. Positive. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, get this. <clears throat> Professor Jones told the symposium he had a new method for calculating the mass of a muon. Five times the limit of <laughs> e to the upsilon as in a <laughs> Okay, no, no, no. I'll start over. Professor Jones. <laughs> I haven't seen him laugh that hard since the day Leonard made that multiplication error. Oh, oh Lord, that multiplication error. He thought he carried the one, but he didn't. <laughs> I see you guys have found my little treasure. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. It's okay, it's magnificent. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what do you want for it? Well, it's hard to put a price on something that's a copy of something that was on pay cable. <laughs> for my friends, let's say 250. Oh, that's pretty steep. Well, it's a limited edition. They only made 8,000 of these bad boys. <laughs> It's only 8,000. We're wasting precious time. Buy it. Hang on. Can you do any better? Are you kidding? I'm already giving you the friends and family discount. Oh, did you hear that? We're getting the friends and family discount. <laughs> we are honored and we will take it. Slow down. 200. What are you doing? 250 is already a discounted price. Will you shut up? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll go 235. Nope, maybe another time. Okay, 225, my final offer. Oh, take it, take it. <laughs> 200. Man, you're killing me. I'm killing you, I can't breathe. <laughs> 210 and I'm losing money. Oh, no, we can't let him lose money, Leonard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 210 and you throw in the Iron Man helmet. Are you crazy? That helmet's signed by Robert Downey Jr. So? 
Okay, if you're gonna question the importance of an actor's signature on a plastic helmet from a movie based on a comic book, then all of our lives have no meaning. <laughs> okay, fine, just the sword, 210. Thank you. I can eat meat this week. <laughs> See that? I just saved us 40 bucks. I've long said what you lack in academic knowledge, you make up for in street smarts. <laughs> you want me to wrap it? No, it's okay. I'm gonna stab my friend in the chest. I'd like to propose a toast to the man whose noble sacrifice inspired our victory, Captain Sheldon Cooper. Here, here. Excuse me, it's Major Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> With my last breath, I awarded myself a battlefield promotion. It's kind of a big deal. Hi, you guys have a minute? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I already talked to Raj, but I wanted to apologize to the rest of you for, you know, everything. Uh, please, Penny, let me. <clears throat> We've decided to let our crazy, wonderful night together be just one of those memories you have and can call to mind when you're feeling blue or you're in the shower. Hey, what you doing, quick draw? <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted you guys all to know that I've been taking a really hard look at things and come to the conclusion I have to stop kidding myself. I suck at acting. It's time for me to move back to Nebraska. You're leaving? Yeah. What are you gonna do in Nebraska? I don't know, maybe teach acting. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Hello? Uh, Penny, Penny, listen, I hope you're not doing this because of you and me, because I have a girlfriend and, and you're a single woman. Shh, it's my agent, it's my agent. You're kidding, oh my gosh. I can't believe it, really? Oh, I'm so excited, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. I got the hemorrhoid commercial, I start Monday. What about Nebraska? Oh, hell, Nebraska, I'm gonna be a star. <laughs> Have you ever thought of teaching physics? 